The mathematical symbol of today is the convolution, denoted with such a star. In fact, in mathematics you find different possibilities to define the convolution, depending which problem you consider. Most importantly, you find a continuous version and a discrete version. Now, in this video I want to show you the ordinary continuous version, so we consider functions f and g defined on the real number line. Then, for these two functions, we define the convolution of f and g. In fact, this convolution should give us a new function also defined on the real number line. More precisely, f star g is again a function from r to r. And the idea to get this new function is to mix f and g together. Moreover, this mixing works in two different directions inside the integral. Of course, this is what we should explain in a formula. So let's look at f star g at a given point x. Then we define this value by an integral that goes through all numbers, so we start with minus infinity and go to infinity. Of course, inside we have the functions f and g and the variable name for the integration. And for this I want to use the Greek letter tau. This is very common because in some sense the variable can stand for time. So here you see we have the first function f at the point tau times the function g at another point. And now I already told you g should go the other direction so what we need inside is minus tau. Moreover we also shift the point here by our given point x. And that's what we have this product of the two functions is integrated. And if this integral exists for all points x in R, we have the convolution. Indeed, this convolution has some nice properties and therefore it's very important in a lot of applications. For this reason, I hope that you now can remember the definition. Then, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye!